Hello guys, um, today I want to show you a very quick example how we can create a, a um, BMI calculator in uh, Swift. Um, for this reason, I'm starting to uh, open Xcode in my um, Mac. Basically, the BMI calculator gives us uh, an idea. Um, how is uh, our body uh, body mass and uh, if um, for example we are underweight overweight or we are okay i'm starting uh, a new project for us this is an app as usual we have to, uh, we have to uh, put the project name in my case body mass index Calculator. Okay, I'm using Storyboard and then obviously Swift. Click Next. I'm going to fill in this folder, this uh, project, and then we have our project ready to start. I click on the main storyboard. Here you can see uh, an example uh, of your. Uh, um, device and um, I need to split the screen uh, to have uh, on the uh, right the code. Mm, the BM calculator is quite easy, is uh, two text, text box, one button and one label and now we discover why. First I started to add the text box. The first text box allow us uh, to insert uh, the, the weight then I put here uh, the, the text box I'm going to put some constraint for example 60 on the top 10 and 10 uh, on left and right and then I click on add the constraints uh, to have the constraint in um, my view. Also here um, I want to add some placeholder. We set this the weight and cut weight maybe in English and um, I want also to select the keyboard is the number I want the number part okay perfect so this is the first one now i want to put another uh, text here again it's a 10 and 10 at this time i want this field have the same space in your device for this reason i print uh, click uh, control I click uh, my uh, mouse and I drag to the first label the uh, next text box if I release I want the vertical spacing and now these two are related and for every device uh, the distance between them is all the same um, again here I want to place a placeholder this is 8 um, the keyboard is again a number pad ok and now finally I want to add a button here ok uh, again uh, set another constraint, 10, 10 and again I drop this one back to the space this button here I can change the um, text in the button is calculate PMI finally I want a a label where I can display uh, the, uh, the calculation 
not pick the class on the text but on the view here label and here we go scale constraint I have the constraint like the spacing and I want to set the bar now what I have to do is uh, first set the outlet for order then I click on the first one I press control I'm going here I call this label uh, sorry text box text text field and automatically is called field for me the, this outlet the same for eight okay and the label two then the PMI level okay now I have to decide what's happening when I click on the button for this reason again I click control I drop here this is an action and I call this tap it. then something will happen when I tap the calculator okay this is, is quite easy now we have to read the uh, value from uh, the UI for this reason <coughs> we have to introduce uh, some uh, uh, simple code first uh, I want to uh, to know uh, the value of the um, weight then I define a new variable weight I read this variable from uh, the uh, field from this one and I want to trans transform uh, the value in the text field in a double in a number then double I use my text field and I use the property text follow by the exclamation mark the exclamation mark is quite important in this case and um, i tell you later in the next video why i'm doing the next thing is that the same for the i and now i want simply to define my weight this is the formula basically we have to divide the weight for uh, the double our uh, twice height 